The average American reads at an eighth grade level, but healthcare information is often communicated at a college graduate level. This disconnect leads to confusion, frustration, and a feeling of helplessness for patients and physicians. While healthcare information can confuse even highly educated patients, those most vulnerable to misunderstanding are the one in five adult Americans who are functionally illiterate. You take one, one caps, one caps there. That's right, uh, one caps who? One caps that. I don't know what this is. That twice? Yeah, tw twice, twice daily. Okay. Oh, so okay. what? So how would you take this? When I see it, it's not on, I tell you how to take it. It says take it twice daily, but it don't say what time to take it. For people with limited literacy skills, the world can be a challenging one. 21% of adult Americans can't read the front page of a newspaper. 48% can't decipher a bus schedule or make sense of a bar graph. The problem is even worse in the healthcare setting where emotions run high and vocabulary is unfamiliar. Based on our decade of research on health literacy, our research group has documented clearly that patients who have inadequate health literacy are more likely to be hospitalized for their chronic illnesses. And this is regardless of their socioeconomic status, whether or not they have a primary care provider, regardless of how ill they are. And tell me which one is which and what you take them for. That looks like my medicine that he gave me for the morning. I take that and the little pill that... Oh, well, this is Matraz. This is uh, Lipian, isn't it? Yeah, that's Lipian. Okay. And what do you take that medicine for? Don't ask me. He puts okay. me on there, and I put, I just take it. Okay. Anything he tells me to take, I'll take it. Okay. So you trust him? Oh, you better believe it. My life. Research has shown that many patients have a hard time understanding basic medical instruction. Twenty-six percent didn't understand when their next appointment was scheduled. 42% didn't understand instructions to take medication on an empty stomach. 86% couldn't understand the rights and responsibilities section of a Medicaid application. Do you know what hypertension means, if I asked you what that was? Because when I look at this, I think, well, maybe you have hypertension, and I've been taking care of that for a long time. Hypered. Mm -hmm. Hypered. Like you're hyper? Mm -hmm. What does being hyper mean to you? That's... that's uh... Or you can't be still, you always got to be doing something. Do, you I, do you think I think you're hyper and have uh, hypertension? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, that's what I consider it. Okay. It being, you know. Okay. But you know you have high blood pressure. Mm hmm Okay, but hypertension doesn't mean the same to you. Mm hmm So if I ask you if you have hypertension, you're going to just think I think you're jumping around on the chair or something like that, something different. Just being hyper, you know. Okay. All right. Well, I haven't done a very good job teaching you what hypertension is, because I think you take that medicine for your <clears throat> hypertension, and that's one of the things that I try to work with you on is your blood pressure. And high blood pressure and hypertension, to us, is the same the thing. The same thing. Dang, yeah.